All right, I'm, we're, uh, I'm working on siding right now. Uh, my friend and I got some siding done yesterday, but I thought I'd stop here before I start to start working today and show you what exactly um, I'm working with, uh, because I never put siding up before, and it's like a fancy jigsaw puzzle. So there's lots of different little pieces, but they, uh, well, not lots. There's only basically four different pieces, five different pieces, and they fit together really well, so you can't tell where the where they fit together. Um, so like this little piece here is a piece of the siding that we're using. It has a little nailing strip on top and on the back here there's a little there's a little lip down here and this is so it hooks in to the top of another piece of siding right here. So the bottom of one piece of siding hooks into the top of another and so that's why it looks continuous but it's not and uh, they hook together really well. You you know when you've got them hooked together. Um, there are these types of pieces. Um, they have this like they have a nailing strip on the bottom and a pocket inside. And these are for at the top. So like at the top, you tuck that in there when you get to the top of uh, wherever you're running your siding. Or if you've got a door or window, and I'll show you where I've done those. Um, this stuff goes into the side here, so it just tucks in there. So lots of little pockets and crevices for the, the siding to tuck into. Um, and that's basically it for the siding and the uh, where the, where that sticks into. Um, you have to cut different pieces around your, your windows and doors, and I'll show you what I did there. Um, but then there are these little, these little runners for the soffit. And so instead of having a pocket that faces down, they face out because the soffit runs from the side of your wall to your fascia board. And uh, it sits in this pocket here. And I'll, I'll climb up on a ladder and show you where we did some of that. Um, and then the soffit, which is just this, it's like the siding, similar, but it's vented. And we went with, with all vinyl stuff because I could have done plywood. It would have been a little, it would have been cheaper, definitely. But um, then I would have to paint it, and maintain it, and vinyl's not really going to go bad for a long, long time. So that's why I'm doing that. So we get up here on this ladder. Maybe cut this part out of the video, and hopefully I can uh, get enough light. So. The light sensor on this camera is kind of annoying. All right, so I'm up here on the ladder, and you'll see here's the little runner for the soffit. It's level with the fascia board here, so that the soffit goes inside that little pocket, and over here, and it will screw into the bottom of the fascia board. And that's pretty simple. You just gotta kind of stack them one on top of the other and go down. Um, and I'm, I'll show you that when I get to it. Haven't done that anywhere yet. Uh, there's this corner piece, which I haven't shown you yet, but it's just, it's like, it's like this, uh, this other pocket thing at the top, but it's just for the sides, and it makes the corners look nice. Um, and if you can see over here on the window, we got some more of this, this same, uh, pocket runner thing. I don't know what to call these pieces. So I'm sure I'm using the wrong names for all of them. But those are around the windows. Uh, tried to make it look nice by cutting a 45 degree angle on one of them and then tucking the other one in. Um, since we're not professionals, it's probably not the way to do it, but that's what we did. My friend and I were working yesterday to get a lot of this done. And it goes down there. And, but it looks it looks pretty decent from, from far away. It's a shed, not too concerned about it. And then there's all the siding. And still haven't figured out exactly how to do the bottom, like secure the bottom to the to the uh, shed so it doesn't flap up. But let's see, we got that window done. Neighbor is vacuuming their lawn for some odd reason. Uh, this is just one long side, and then we'll have to I'll have to run some of that the runner for the soffit up the up the angle there and back down and uh, cut the the siding pieces to length. And I'm still not sure what to do about the corner there. My friend, who's who's done this stuff before, he's he's got an idea of what to do there. So I'll let him figure that stuff out. Um, but then 
Got a corner. And another full side. And so the way that we did these things, we put the, the soffit runner up first, then we put the corner pieces on, and then we put that top pocket on, and then the very last thing you do is put the siding on, starting from the bottom, going up top. And it's really easy to put on, really fast, and we use roofing nails to just, because we had a lot of those left over, and those have a big head, so they hold the, the siding on pretty well. So that's, that's that for, for right now. I'm gonna uh, frame in the, the door there with, the, with that material, uh, the little pockets. And then I'm gonna start putting the siding up on this side, leaving, I gotta leave this, this, uh, this area right here empty, because no siding's gonna go in there. I'm gonna put a ramp so we don't have to keep stepping up into the shed, but the ramp's gonna come mostly last, most likely last. So that's it for the uh, the siding for now. Uh, show you what we get when we get to it. All right, so I got uh, siding done on the doorway side. See how it looks. Looking pretty snazzy. You see the little nailing strip up there for the siding, and uh, it's going pretty well. And I just need to start tapering it as it goes up. And if I go closer, you can see that there's the the little pocket piece for the siding, and then there's the little runner for the soffit. And haven't been putting any any soffit up anywhere else, but we're uh, it's coming along. All right, so it's been a while since I last did a video, so some a lot of stuff has been added, but I'll try and go through exactly what. Um, so right now you can see we got the fascia board on or the fascia over top of the fascia board. And we got these corners. Let me see if I can get out of the sun so you can see one of these corners better. There we go. Got the corners, got the soffit going all the way up. Got all the siding on, which is nice. And my friend Greg helped me out a lot since he knows about this stuff and I don't. So I was his helper on most of this stuff soffit going down there, fascia, all the siding, pretty much all the trim, and uh, yeah, it's coming along, almost usable, so the big things we need to work on now are, you can see this is still a big gaping hole, but we got some, got some work to do there, so doors, and a ramp of some variety. Still trying to figure out what to do for that. But for doors, we decided to get two of these big 36 inch doors. Let's see if I can get out of here. There we go. Um, and we'll use these as sliding doors. So they will slide over there uh, when they're open. And when they're shut, they'll just slide and cover up the opening here. And have to make that so that they're sturdy enough to be used as shed sliding doors. But um, so that's what I'm gonna work on now. Uh, see if I can get those up by myself. If I can't, I'll enlist some help. And these are these are just uh, untreated, so I'm gonna stain them uh, just to give them some protection from the weather. And probably, well, they're nice doors, heavy. So see how that goes.